वेलकम व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर अभिक देवनाथ कंसल्टेंट यूरोलॉजिस्ट एंड्रोलॉजिस्ट एंडो यूरोलॉजिस्ट लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन एंड रीनल ट्रांसप्लांट सर्जन एट पेस हॉस्पिटल्स हैदराबाद टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ वेरी कॉमन टॉपिक व्हिच इज किडनी फंक्शन टेस्ट्स सो बेसिकली द फंक्शन ऑफ द किडनी इज मल्टीफोल्ड इट द किडनीज नॉट ओनली एक्सक्रीट द नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट्स फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी but it also helps to regulate the water and electrolyte balance calcium balance and formation of blood products in simple terms kidney function tests include a set of blood tests which helps us to estimate the function of the kidney usually the tests include urea or blood urea nitrogen creatinine and serum electrolytes some laboratories also include calcium phosphorus and uric acid in the panel of kidney function tests but it's important to remember that these tests alone do not indicate the function of the kidney there are many other tests simpler tests as well like urine routine and microscopy and urine spot microalbumin which helps to estimate the functional status of the kidneys but usually in common parlance the kidney function test includes a small set of blood tests as mentioned above so kft includes urea or blood urea nitrogen creatinine and electrolyte levels which includes sodium potassium and chloride levels some laboratories also include acid base that means it uh, includes the bicarbonate levels the calcium phosphorus and uric acid levels the routine or simple kft or the kidney function test or some call it as a rft is a simple blood test it is a single sample test which is uh, done by a small puncture in the vein and withdrawal of about 3 ml of blood the test reports come within 3 to 4 hours of sampling of the blood and processing in a laboratory the kidney functions like a filter so it filters our blood so there are two main components or parameters of kidney function so one is the glomerular filtration that is the filter which is present in the kidney and the other one is the tubular function of the kidney so the levels of urea and creatinine are usually they denote the filtration function of the kidney and the tubular function is mainly denoted by the water and electrolyte levels and the acid base levels so basically kidney function tests when they are abnormal abnormal in the sense when they are abnormally high that indicates that the overall global functional status of the kidney is impaired so it can be either due to acute injury that is a sudden injury to the kidneys or it can be due to chronic diseases of the kidney involving the kidneys like medical diseases or it can be because of other pathologies which includes stone disease infection inflammation or other medical disorders like diabetes and hypertension so the most important component of a kidney function test or a renal function test is the serum creatinine level so the serum creatinine level depends on the patient's gender as well as the patient's muscle mass or body weight so for normal adult male the usual normal creatinine levels range from 0.7 to 1.4 mg per deciliter and for adult women it ranges between 0.5 to 1.1 mg per deciliter obviously the creatinine is a end product of muscle catabolism so if the muscle mass is more then the creatinine normally is expected to be on the higher side and on the vice versa when muscle mass is less that is in a lean and thin person the creatinine is expected to be normally low kidney function tests are important to know the function the overall or the global function of the kidney so if kidney function tests are deranged that means the kidneys have been either acutely or chronically damaged by illness 
or a disease involving the kidney. Abnormally high kidney function test can be in two situations. One is if it is truly false or truly abnormal. So a truly abnormal kidney test indicates that the kidneys have been damaged by disease and therefore the kidney tests are elevated. On the other hand, there can be a situation where kidney tests are abnormally high but the kidneys are functioning well. This situation is called falsely abnormal values which can happen in a state of dehydration. Dehydration can be either due to inadequate water intake or increased uh, water loss in the form of either diarrhea, vomiting, burns or increased uh, insensitive water loss in case of exposure to warm weather. So in such cases, renal function tests can be abnormally high. No, fasting is not required for kidney function test, but it is important to be adequately hydrated at the time of testing. Yes, dehydration can affect kidney function test. There will be decreased perfusion or decreased blood flow to the kidneys which lead to abnormally high kidney function test parameters. Usually no, kidney function tests are simple blood tests. They mainly indicate the functional status of the kidney and they are not meant for detection of cancer in the kidney. For that we need to image the kidney with the help of scan either ultrasound, CT or MRI scan. Sodium and chloride are important electrolytes in our body. Sodium is an important cation or positively charged molecule and chloride is a, an important anion or a negatively charged uh, atom in our body. Balance is regulated by the functioning of the kidneys. Usually the levels of sodium and chloride go hand in hand. Sodium or chloride level can be because of either loss of sodium and chlorine or it can be because of increased amount of solvent or which is called uh, due to increased consumption of water or because of inadequate filtration or excretion of water. Similarly, so high levels of sodium and chloride is usually it can be due to proportionately higher amount of loss of water or because of solute excess. Creatinine is a product of muscle catabolism or protein catabolism and it is excreted through the kidneys by the filtration apparatus of the kidney that is the glomerulus. So if there is abnormally high creatinine that means the filtration function of the kidney has been affected. GGT is an enzyme. It stands for gamma glutamyl transpeptidase. It is not a part of kidney function test. It is a part of liver function test.